Hey YouTubers, uh, I'm back out here, still at the Honda. As you can see, I got a portable TV here, with set of rabbit ears. Let's try out this inverter. I got the key to the tractor still, just in case if that battery does go down, I can start the motor up. So I'm not going to turn it on because it's going to run the fuel pump and I don't want to, don't want to fill the carburetor up too much with gas. So let's, as it sits here, let's try out this TV. And as, as I told you before, I'm going to be putting this on the Craftsman, but I'm thinking about stealing the battery out of the uh, Troyshev. Um, it's, a, it's a relatively brand new battery. It's just about, about, I think I've had that about 20 months now. So it's less than a less than two year old battery. So thinking about it, I haven't fully decided. So let's see here. Gotta put this down for a second, the camera, and plug the TV in. This is a portable TV. I don't think it has 12 volt. No, no 12 volt, but it is a portable TV. There it goes. And it works. And let's see what the voltage is saying. So power out, I guess that means 30 minutes. I'm not sure. Still got 12, we got 12 volts in the battery. TV is working. Probably hear the volume. And it's not just a line on the screen. I don't know why my camera's showing that. I don't know how if the video will show that up like that or not. Yeah, it's weird. It's just on the TV, it's showing like a line. But if you look at the shed, it's fine. But let's start up the tractor. Better, best turn off the TV or unplug it. Actually, let's see what's going to happen. I'm kind of curious. And inverter shut off. It's unplugger. Are we a warning now? Shut her off. Crank this up. idea what's going on with the TV. It did come on there and then it just shut itself off for some reason. I have no idea why. See this thing has two power buttons. Sometimes I get confused on which is which. We got nothing. Hopefully it didn't kill it. Still says we got 12 volt or we got uh I'll put in we got 13 volts and still got 120. Maybe the cord. Try it. Nope, something up the TV. May have killed the TV. It's just an old TV, I don't really care. That's what I paid for it up there. But who cares? So, don't have anything plugged in when you crank over the motor. It don't like it. So, I'll know that for next time. According to this, it's still working. It's 
still staying at 120 volts. Zero load. Yeah, I think the TV died. It's on plugger. TV, this TV hadn't been on for quite a while, so it might be dead. It might be going with this side of the road. I don't smash them or nothing. So, so yeah. So I'll talk to you all later. So there's a test that it did work, and just, I doubt it's this. I'll get something else and uh, later on and try it. But that's pretty much it. And I'll plug this TV into the extension cord. See what happens. So I'll talk to you guys later. Keep it redneck and please subscribe and comment.